The following program was produced by Cox Communications exclusively for OSU On Demand. And you have to walk off the field as you take the field, pride in who you are and what you stand for, what it comes down to. And hopefully tomorrow you'll sit next to the guy and he'll be watching the tape. He'll make an opinion of you as a person. All right? That should be very important. All right? See you soon. Let's take your Go, go, go. go. Three on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Left side cuts back to the 45 to midfield into Kansas territory. Makes the handoff, rolls out right, dumps it off in the right flat to Kai Staley to the right sideline to the 40. And about a foot hands it off. Sims off left guard, hit at the line of scrimmage, driven back, and I don't think he got it. Snap back, it's a fake. They run it straight ahead, and he's tackled at the 16 yard line. Nigel Nicholas. Fought off his block and made the play. The officials announced that we are now in a weather delay, a significant thunderstorm working its way into the Lawrence area as we speak. And it looks like play is about to resume here, so we'll be right out an hour and 19 minutes of a delay here in Lawrence. Scramble straight ahead to the 20 and tackle three yards shy of the first down. Motion to the right, Chris back to pass, hit and sacked. Back at the four yard line, Cowboys came with a blitz and Joe Mitchell got it. Right side, breaks the tackle and squirts into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. J.W. Wall. Sets up for those short near side. Caught by Charlie Moore. Breaks the tackle at the 31. Scoops down the left sideline. And Moore with a chance to go all the way. 35 30, 25 20, 15, 10, 5. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Charlie Moore. Okay, now, a, uh, um, you know, sometimes during the season you have to win some games like that. Uh, it doesn't always go smooth. You don't always play as well as we wanted to. We had some adverse conditions for both sides, but uh, you guys finished at the end. They, they got in it. Uh, defense was, was really good, and then at the end they got in that formation, made a couple of mistakes, and they scored. And then offensively, you know, we got to be able to maintain the ball maintain possession, and, and when we have a lead like that, be able to just kind of run it out. But um, a win is a, is a win, and um, I'm proud of you guys for battling back. When it got close there in the end, and I was this, and with some of you guys, that's what we talk about when we run. It's what we talk about when we practice two minutes. And that's what we talk about in practice when we get tired is there's going to be situations like that. And you guys that have been around here a while, and for you young guys, it's, it's a good experience for you because we've played some games around here where we were ranked and the other team was ranked real high and we were ahead by 40 or 50 points, several of those in the last few years. But then there's other games like this where everybody thinks you're just going to come out here, and I know you didn't approach it that way, but outside people think you're just going to win, you're just going to beat them by four or five touchdowns. It doesn't always work that way in college football. Okay, So when you... When you finish at the end, you get the stop on the fourth down. The defense had to stop them, and you stopped them. When you did that, then we, we matured a little bit with this group, okay? So uh, we, give, we give Kansas credit. They played hard. You know, they fought, they fought all the way till the end. But you guys came through in the end and made a play. And obviously, we're playing Iowa State, and Iowa State's having a good year. They're playing very well. So um, you guys will accept the challenge. The coaches will, will uh, correct uh, – make corrections from this game, we'll be better, and then we need to continue to work to get better um, as a team.